All right, let's do this fifth and final act. Forever. Oh, our cabin is under the sea. Under the sea. Under the sea. Everything's yes, we... better when you are wetter. Take it from me. Yeah, so I don't I've... know if that's the lyrics, but hey. hey. So yeah, everything's just legitimately. Uh... Um. Well, so now there's only three slots left. Yep. That's, That's the last thing. It's the mouth. That's weird. Yeah. It won't be me. Character, it won't be me. When you see me again. It won't be me when you see me again. A tragedy of mythic proportions... Uh, British cruise ship perishes at sea. Half of the passengers lost. Nautical... So the RMS Odyssey is the ship. Nautical experts and laymen alike are shocked to learn that the state-of-the-art cruise liner sunk at the bottom of the Atlantic in the early hours of the morning. The ship's maiden voyage turned out to be its last. Tragedy stuck on the, struck on the fifth night of the voyage when a fire broke out in one of the engine rooms. Despite the attempts from the crew, the flames spread throughout the lower decks causing a massive explosion in the boiler room that breached the integrity of the hull. While the exact number of casualties is still unknown, latest estimates claim that just over a thousand passengers and crew, approximately half, perished to, fight to the fire or was lost to the cold depths. So, it's possible Lily died in the explosion. Yeah. Because that would make sense now more also in Hunger too, while we were in the boiler room. All the fire while the monster is spouting off fire. Yep. And it does, once again, go back to the earlier part of the Icarus transatlantic or whatever. The getting too close to the sun. Oh, yeah. In yeah, this case, yeah. it's the ship just going up in flames. So here's number five of our... Have I offended you, James? No, I just... I don't know what I want. They say that the king's trying to f king star. He has really can come true. Are dreams what's really important to you? Mm-hmm. Your dreams can stay with you forever. Well, okay. Those curtains freaked me out because they're moving. Yeah. A very like real manner. Did that always say recording before? No. Whoa! You run, but do you know the way? You build one character, you destroy the other, but which one is which? I didn't mean to do that. You follow reason, Too late now. you see through it, you cut away the strings. Okay. You're not afraid to play your part. You accept the inevitable. I wonder if this is an actor, if it's just... Just the epilogue. You struggle against the current. Fight against all odds. Wow. Oh! That was us pulling Lily. Yeah. Huh. Interesting. Oh, we wake back up in our bed. Nothing is different. No, it's still all this. The sign's still the same. I'm curious, will it let me open the door again? You run, but do you know okay. the way? So this just happens if you open it. Maybe we could have opened the door earlier. We just never looked behind us. But which one is which? Because this is the exact same. You see through yeah. it. You so there's the dog. The like the dogs that were chasing us. Yeah. Those are the puppets. You're not afraid to play your part. You accept the inevitable. Yeah, all while the ship is going down. You struggle against the current. Fight. 
Amongst worlds. Oh. Okay, so I was watching somebody else go through Act 1, and I think they went through that door, but as soon as they went out through the door, it practically cut off and they woke up in the bed. I think you can go through that door after every act, and it'll outline your choices for you. Mm. So once we make our final choice, That'll we'll see be... what happens. It'll be the complete thing, because notice there was a guy in like a chair or something from Act 1. We saved the guy... Or no, we killed the guy and saved the girl. And then there was the dogs from Act 2, there's the puppets from Act 3, there's the fire from Act 4. So I think it's the choices. She's saying who you are as a person the more you go down after. So I think that's what it is. Yeah, so we'll check that out again after this. Hey look, we actually found one. Okay, so it is just random things to find that... Yeah, there must be a couple others we forgot or missed otherwhere in the game. Hidden chests we just didn't see, I guess. Yeah, looks like it. At least now we know. Oh, there it is. I was wondering if there would be at least one more thing in the water. Yeah. What was it? A shoe! Interesting. Some, some good eyesight. Now we got a... Like a dog, like a... Yeah. Like a sea wolf. And as far as all these have gone, we actually... We missed one. We missed one, it looks like, in that act. Yep. Or in the act before, because remember that was from the last act, so... Yep. But and then we there's got... two. Yep. You notice how his movies go from like, I'm the hero. This is fantastical. It's fantasy. Oh, They're getting much more darker. <laughs> dark and disturbing and tragic. Yep. Interesting. All right, here we are. Well, the house is gone. Yep. Every all the clothes are gone. Flame, truth, become. Break the cycle here and now. Stay in the loop forever. Who lives? Who dies? Who the fuck am I? Him, her, him, her, him, her, us. Crossed out. Me. I feel like that was some slam poetry right there. Skip, bop, boo. Me, you, that kind of shit. Yeah. But, also, but it does play with the thing like you were saying. Yeah, very much goes back to the him still kind of being her. Yeah. So maybe we weren't too far off in our original, like, is this, like, psycho Norman Bates kind of shit? Yeah, like, he just tried so hard to keep her alive that... He was never able to be himself. The head's back. You yeah. see that? I got a full mannequin now. Forever. An endless sea. We have a full character. Stretching. Five. Forever. For our marriage. Marriage is what brings us a full mannequin today. Well, time to find out what this act has in store for us after the last one. Right? Alright, here we go. Last act of the game, I'd imagine. 
This place, it feels so familiar, like I've been here before, and yet I cannot find my way. There has to be a way! I don't know. The Not ship, that door. The ship looks pretty uh, lost, dude. Ooh, what's this? That mirror again. Do you see now? You tried to fix me. Instead, you broke yourself. Interesting. You've tried to fix me, but you broke yourself. Oh. That is creepy. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, maybe if you just don't look at it, it'll go away. <laughs> Oh, I don't like this already. Sweets to the sweet. Grab it! Son of a bitch! Flip it over, you know how this works. Bitter for the bitter. So this is the first one that hasn't said character. Well, apparently it's stuck on bitter for the bitter. Yeah. We appear to be, uh, bitter. I guess I just gotta keep spinning it till all the mirrors break? Looks oh. like it. Uh-oh. Do we have a... Oh, I guess you gotta... Whoa! Uh, there go, we go for it! Run, James! Find your giant peach! This place, it sickens me. With all of its clutter and confusion, it is a monument to your weakness, a portrait of your indecision, the wreckage of what never truly was. Okay. I don't know how to deal with that. Sure either. There's a lot of flicking and it is broken. Hollow. Like me. Just like Hey! I called it. We seem to be revisiting everything from earlier, it just now it's all underwater. I don't like that. Painting. <laughs> Whoa, it got dark. That's a perfectly normal elevator. Oh, well that's fun. Just like we were saying about how all the posters were just getting more and more dark. And <laughs> that's during his experimental phase. Yeah. Just a movie of just static glitches just the whole way through. Um, oh, there it is. I was like, where's the fucking switch? Yeah, we're sideways again. Well, it should be there. For some reason, they put it there. The shit kind of torture ass shit is this? What kind of torture chamber mother is this? No! No! Oh no! Oh no! Go away, painting! <laughs> Go away, painting! I was just waiting for it to just keep stretching on and on and on. Oh, just... I am not about this life. Well, you don't like visiting the tortured mind of no James. Oh, we're back in this room now. Help us, somebody! Help us! We don't actually know what we're saying. Can't you tell how panicked we are? Do me a favor, look up SOS. Morse code SOS. Curious if you can actually, like, get something for typing out SOS. So it's like... Okay, so three dots, three dashes, three dots. Hey! Woo! What a perfect storm. <laughs> Send an SOS! 
Uh, what else did we get? So save all the lost souls. Interesting. So there were lost souls there. Interesting. That's what the other one was. Yep. So. So we're we're sending out an SOS. Interesting. So we actually sent out an SOS. Might be a little late. Why he can be rebuilt? The fuck? But some wounds go deeper. So much deeper. Like the heart? Or is that what you're trying to tell me, Candyman? It goes to the heart. Yeah. Oh, just get back in the side-scrolling elevator. Yep. I am not hanging out there. I sent my SOS. Yep. All right. Oh, good. We're going up again. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna stand Surely right here. Surely there'll be no more scenes of torture and creepy mannequins. Nope. Oh no. He's following me. His head followed us the whole way. What's that? All right. This is where we go. Okay. That was a nice quick ride. Yeah, it wasn't as bad as the last one. What is this? We got... How long has it been? I don't remember anymore. So hard to remember. I feel myself slipping, growing thin, and it seem it keeps growing. It let, won't let me go. It won't let me go, David. Yeah, things are definitely getting more and more desperate here. Every time I try to leave, they just pull me right back in. Uh-oh. We got green flame. Dragonfire? Mannequins. Sup, guys? Don't mind us. Oh, 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 no. <laughs> oh, no. Oh. Poor little Jimmy. Poor, weak, pathetic little Jimmy. Always the victim. Always the burden. An anchor dragging me down. Wow. What? Uh. I feel like we had to get out of there quickly. Yeah, I was like, well, there's clearly got to be some way to run. So Lily sounds like she's resenting him now. Yeah. Did we... Where are we? Alright, so this is where we just came in from. Let me put my back to the wall. There we go. I was like, where do we go? The darkness in this game is very dark. Yeah. Okay. I guess I never had a chance, did I? Neither of us did. We never should have lived this long. Uh huh. Whoever is at them at any time. Sometimes it's better not to be. To burn away completely. Okay. There's no place for me here. Only you. Whoever that is. I hope you'll be brave this time. I don't think I can. What? I cannot. Um. You. You cannot help me. Okay, Jim. Not anymore. Bye, Jim. I don't know what to think of that. Yeah. I don't, I really don't. We might have to look up like a this Wikipedia explanation of this story. This was to be my final work. It's real fucked up Let final work. Was lost. Oh, okay, there we go. To let go of the stolen fire. To reignite the true flame. But now the spark. It is almost gone. Uh -huh. I was lost, hopeless, just like you. Sick and tired of people telling me I'm hopeless and weak. Fuck all y'all. I know. A life that was never yours. Dreams you had no right to dream. Too scared to be yourself. 
too weak to be anyone else. Damn, Lily. Well, the question is, is that really Lily, or is that uh, him imagining... That's true. ...to make himself feel more and more worthless? He's very self-deprecating. The fucking <laughs> shining! <laughs> oh no! Oh. oh god! Damn it! <laughs> Just when you thought they were done with the. Uh... <laughs> well. Hey, means... Grady twins, you want to hang out? Apparently not. Yo. Oh! 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 Get away! Get away! God. Oh god damn. Oh, there's that painting again. Multiples of them all around you. Yep. Let's see how this works. I think it's that one. What? No. No, you don't think it's the Captain My Captain one? <laughs> Alright, well, let's... Think it's that one? Okay, I guess they all just make that dramatic noise. Uh... Maybe they're tricking us, like we're so used to that mechanic now. Maybe I just have to keep... Playing with it. Yep. Yeah, get him to destroy. Uh... I don't like that the picture has scratching sounds. <laughs> I don't like that photo. <laughs> I don't think you're supposed to. It just creepily <laughs> scratches! <laughs> no! <laughs> Fuck all y'all. I am done with this shit. Oh, high five. I have to move their arms out of the way now? Are you kidding me? Yep, anything to slow you down and make you have to stay in here. Can you just, guys, move your hands? Thank you. Thank like, you. We were almost through. Just... Oh my god. Whoa! I'm wondering if one of the guards shot the girl thinking, like, because it's a stowaway situation? I'm not sure. Because, like, they clearly had that thing saying it was children. But. Where does this go? This way? There we go. Yeah, no, that's definitely... Yeah. It's an acquired taste. You know. Not my, not my cup of tea. Not my cup of tea. I don't really care for super static. It's, it's just one of those movies that, like, everybody would have hated, but there would have been, like, that film critic that was, like... It was perfect. <sighs> it was so unique. Alright, so I guess... Wait. Where... Oh, there we go. Yeah, just more gunshots. It's fine. As we try to make our way through here. So now we're back to the bank vault from earlier. Why is it not working? 
Do I have to go that way? I don't know. God, everything's so dark. It's, it's so hard. dark. I, I I apologize for anyone watching how dark this is. I'm gonna give this like two or three more passes, and then we're going somewhere else. Cause yeah, I don't know if there's something else we're just missing right now. Yeah, that's us. that can't be it. Cause yeah. Cause the cool. only other direction I could take it is this way. And three passes is all you get. Yeah, no, that's yeah. That's so not there it. must be something else. It's gotta be. Well, the mannequins are dead. Okay, that's, that's locked. locked. Is that... No, that's where the painting was. I was like, is that a ladder? No. I... I really do apologize. I can barely see. And if I can barely see, that means you guys can barely see. Yeah, this is very much, uh... Okay. I don't like doing this, but it is so fucking dark right now. That barely helps. <laughs> yeah. That's where we came in. Do I just have to keep spinning this? Maybe? It can't be that. Oh, wait, oh, wait. <sighs> That's so stupid. Okay, putting the gamma back. <laughs> Just one of those moments where it's like, nope, it's actually pretty straightforward. But because like there's nothing else around here, so clearly this is where we gotta go. Yeah. Gold. Bright, shining green. There's gold, gold in them hills. So much gold. I mean, can, can I just enjoy my gold? Yeah, let me enjoy my doubloons. Please. Stop calling me an empty shell. I don't want your fucking money. Yeah. I've had it with the ship. Fuck you, candy man. Had it. Oh, door. I cannot believe it all. Oh! It can only be. Alright. Let's go to the right this time. The lock -in. So yeah, we're going through like all the acts again, so we're in act three now. Yeah. Existing, but never being. Wouldn't it be better if you just went away? Wow, fucking fucking rude. This kid hates himself so much. Yeah. <laughs> Well, all right. Welcome to the kitchen of death. Now we're back on the pirate boat. What's that? Whatever it is, it's locked, because I can't fucking see. <laughs> it's just something in the dark. Oh, okay. found the six two. Okay. So let's shoot it. There we go. There we go. Like do something. Of course, you also just shot it in the direction we're walking. Though so it seems to be flying away. Where do we go? This way? No. Doubloons? Oh, it's empty, just like we are. Wow, David. <laughs> That was rude. Whoa! Oh! Oh, God! <laughs> well, 
Well, that's what Candyman keeps telling us, okay? Oh. Oh, shit! <laughs> oh, you. Really? Really? See, now that's dumb. That is very dumb. Unless you're just not supposed to walk that way, but... Well, I'm supposed to walk that way. I just got too close. So what, do I have to avoid? Okay, we're good. Hey look, the painting is in large. Nope, there's no painting. God, fuck you! <sighs> That's dumb. Yeah, there was really no need for that in this spot. Like, they can just let you run through a bunch of creepy field of mannequins and not have that guy. They can have you just honestly being chased. That too. At least we hit a checkpoint. So he legitimately just shows up. Yeah, so you gotta be... I gotta be quick about it. Yeah. Gotta get around that corner fast. Forever stuck in this mannequin field. Honestly. There we go. At least it's loading quick. Okay, so we turn the corner. Okay. Up the ladder. Up the ladder. Well, we tried. I think that worked. Yeah, it doesn't. We're not getting that dramatic. Oh, yep, now we're back in. Back in the ship. How many times have I tried to put the pieces back together? Oh. I don't know. Just to watch them fall apart. You haven't actually told us. Does it actually do anything? No. It's got to be getting closer, right? It feels like it. Okay. Where can I... Is there anywhere to go? Maybe I have to keep spinning this? Just that little bit more. Every time, you're like so close and then... Sure. Let's go down the eyeball pit. Yeah. Now where are we? Under the sea. Bunch of heads. All stuck on spikes. Take it from me. Where the fuck do we go? There are stairs behind you. Yeah. Other way. Other way? I can't see half of this. Uh, keep going. Yeah, can't, can't you go up there? Up to just a little bit. Yeah. Oh, like an incline. Uh, you know what would really help this game out? A flashlight. <laughs> Why, when there's creepy pictures that make creaking noises? How long can a man burn before he turns to ash? How could you know of all the wasted years, of all the pain? Honestly, I don't know. You here, you don't even. I'm James. Jimmy. Jim, Jim, Jimaru. Sometimes maybe Lily. Yeah, but that's like only on the weekends when I feel like going out and being fancy. Yeah. 
And then I guess this is all the movie roles, so I guess I'm them too. How many times must a man die before he can truly live? How many? I, I don't have an answer for you. Why don't you just tell us instead of torturing us like this? Look at him. This is what happens when you fail to take control. I have a mask. I mean, I'm an actor, right? It's Look at it. No. Twisted, formless. I don't want to look at I it. I can't move. Just... Is it dead? Will you crumble as well? Give me the fucking mask. Feel that feels like very final. Yeah, like the music started to get a lot more sad. Somber, yeah. Like I feel like something's about to happen, like we're gonna have a reveal. Yep. Store rebuild. I don't know what that means. We'll have to look in a minute. There's a door behind it. Shame I won't be there to see. You know, I don't. Uh, I don't is that like just coral? Don't know if it is a shame. Coral. Coral. Back in the ship. The recording studio. Oh. Did we get the full thing now. I think we get. But do you know the way? Not you really. You killed one character. You destroy the other. But which one is which? So we killed one and saved the other. You but who are reason. you? You see through it. You cut away the strings. We followed reason, so we didn't go to give into our instincts. You're not afraid to play your part. You accept the inevitable. We accept who we are. We don't go against the grain. You struggle against the current. You fight against all odds. Ah. In the end, there is no right or wrong. There is only... James! Lily! Ah. James! Listen to me! You have to go! No! I'm not leaving. I'll, I'll find a way to reach you. I know you will. You're strong. Stronger than you know. We'll be together again. No matter how long it takes, I will. I think Lily blew up. Yeah, just maybe a little bit. Okay. So I'm curious if she starts to really hate him if he goes along with the director. So she's not like, you're stronger than you think. Like, she's like, yeah. you're a son of a bitch. Yeah, and this is how it began. Oh, you're right. This is how the game began. So this makes a lot more sense now. I wonder if the game is just a big loop. Maybe. Cause yeah, this is exactly all the same. Yeah? Oh! Until this. <laughs> it's a very frilly, uh... Wait. Looking for answers. The purpose long gone. Notice the girl hand? Yeah. And on, and on. What cool part 
we have to play to, to live, live on, on once, once they, they went, went away. away. A vast, Mr. Hardy, a vast. What's gone is gone. What's past is past. Did we play as Lily? Should not it's looking be. like it. And there are wounds that time won't heal. When all seems lost, when all is gone, we do not have to carry on. To put, to put away, away what sadness, sadness will set your aim and take your shot. Just as I thought. A mother long gone. Okay. A sister's last breath. A life for a life. A death for a death. The flame that burns the lies away. The truth revealed. Let come what may. Whoa! Lay your head down, brother. Go to sleep. This vow is no longer yours to keep. the box. <laughs> okay, so that's the end of the game. Yeah. So, I, I had heard mixed reactions to the ending. Some people liked it, some people did not. Um... I'm curious if you make choices differently if you're not Lily at the end, but you are James. Yeah, which is what I was wondering. Like, it's if, like if you follow the director, you become James, and if you go against the director, you become Lily. Because, you know, like, back in Act 2, Act 2 is the best description of it. Back in Act 2, it's like, she says not to eat the rat, yeah. and James wants to. So if you go with your instinct and you eat the rat, you're doing what James would do. But if you don't, you're doing what Lily would do. You follow the role that you have. You're doing what Lily would do. You go against it. You do what James would do. Yeah. And then you have, like, the uh, moment where she's on the gangplank and it's, like, her telling you the shooter versus... Right. You deciding to side with her and shoot the puppets. I liked it. Um... I imagine they're going to do a DLC that builds on it because that's what they did for the first one. So the first one game, and it might be you turn out to be Lily the whole time. Because um, in the first game, you play as the dad, and then in the DLC, you play as the daughter, and you see it through her eyes. So I'm wondering if what you're doing this time is you're seeing it through Lily's eyes, but you think it's James. Yeah. And maybe next time you see it from a different perspective. I don't know if they're going to have a DLC. I don't. But I'm imagining they would. Um, let's see. I'm looking up Layers of Fear 2. 
doesn't have an official Wikipedia, so maybe there's a wikia or something. Yeah, but then I'm going to say there's also the fact that it's still pretty new. So you gotta give time for people to actually uh, make one. Fandom, Layers of Fear Wiki 2. What part will you play? Um... Because, yeah, it says players control a Hollywood actor who heeds the call of an enigmatic director to take on the leading role for, of a film shot aboard an ocean liner. Darkness surrounds you, uh, surrounds as you stand silently in the spotlight. The only sounds to be heard over your heartbeat are the distant breaks, breaking of waves against the hull and the cameras pointing in your direction. A deep and commanding voice arises from the distance. What part will you play? Um... I don't know, because there's not a lot here as far as explaining the ending. So I, right now the ending is kind of up for debate a little bit. Apparently, this, Oh, endings guide. Yeah, apparently there's three endings. Shit. Okay, so, so I doubt we're going to replay this. The formless flame and forever endings. Well, I, I have an endings guide right here, or at least an endings explanation right here. So let's wait to see if there's anything after the credits. Yeah, just in case. And then if there is not, I will tell you all what the ending is. If you don't want to see, know what the other endings are, you want to play it for yourself, go do that. Cut the video here. Go go do your thing. Um, but I doubt we're gonna play through this again on the channel. So there's a new game plus. So yeah, I doubt we're gonna go do through this, through the channel again. Although, actually, no. Um, continue. We got that final yeah, audio nice. log. I'm curious if we can go back in. At least hear what that says. See if this lets us do that. If it doesn't, we'll back out and do New Game Plus. This just might be the ending again. We'll see. Oh no this way first running 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 that barrel wasn't there a minute ago not at all okay so it's it's the end and uh, that's, um that's dumb so, so yeah, we guess... have to do new game plus but it's since it's a new game plus i imagine we'll get to keep our items luckily we get to the cabin very quickly so yeah. let's just run through the cabin see yeah because um, i'm curious on that regard because it's been you know, a One guy... week since you looked at me. <laughs> it's been a guy talking to James, like in all the recordings. Like a director. Oh, no, no, I see what you... No, I was sorry, I was thinking Candyman. Yeah, you're right, it's been a guy talking to James this whole time. In all those recordings. This looks like... <laughs> now it's back to the stage, and... So that is James there. Yeah. <laughs> and it's a woman pulling off James's head saying, you almost had it. Maybe you do play as Lily the whole time, but you they make you think you're playing as James because maybe she confuses... Like, maybe she's got, like, multiple personality disorder? No. I don't, I don't know. We'll see when we look at the endings. Maybe the endings will... Sleep is a poor excuse. And so are you. All preparations have been made. Your little toys await you upstairs. Time waits for no one. Doctor. So yeah, we still have all these. Yep. So there are quite a few we missed. Yep. Um, but we have... Where was Number six right here. Yep. So Let's that. listen to this. I think that's all of them. Forever is a very yeah. long time, James. You think you can take it? I one dreams of forever. But when the eyes of eternity are upon him, how 
far can he go? How deep can he descend? Once the flame has been lit, there's no other way. Okay. So none of these... It, we don't know if these are before or after yeah, the ship yeah. crashes. Because he talks was, about being in, in England. Yeah, that's what I was about to say. Is like It doesn't actually... It could very much be before everything happened at home and with them getting on the ship. So we have those final two posters over there. Yep, so we We're only missing three. one... Three. And one of them has to be that Wizard of Oz one that we saw. Oh, look, we even filled this space. I didn't even realize that was a poster. Was there anything I missed here? Was there something in the looking glass we didn't get the first time through? Uh, yeah. Hey, there was! Because I, I saw a trophy for it, and I was like, there can't be something we missed. We missed the painting. What did we miss? Is that Vincent Van Gogh? It is. With creepy glowing... Like James. Interesting. Gets creepier when you get right up next to it. <laughs> well, that should be everything, because we found all the other stuff between the acts, unless there's more stuff. It's just... There... We always assumed there was only one thing. It's possible there could have been multiple. Yeah. But not yeah. a lot of camera movement, like uh, motion. It didn't really seem like there was anything else. Yeah. So we got the cage, we got the painting, we got the shoe, the boat, and the flag. That would be five. Yeah, one for each act. See how it started off kind of like a dolphin and it turned into something Yeah, creepy? then it just kept getting further and further out. <laughs> um, the only other thing I want to see is this. See, it says recording. Yeah. That's right, because originally it was locked when you first started. You know the way? Oh, it actually you shows us everything from before yeah because we've which? already gone through it so i wonder if you change it reason, you can see the differences as you change it away the maybe okay we can get out of that it won't let me so we're stuck your part. you accept the inevitable all right well Yes, you struggle uh, against stop the watching now if you don't want spoilers. Yes, please stop st uh, watching now if you don't want spoilers, because I'm about to talk about the three different endings. Oh, it does cut it off, though, before the final piece. Okay. No, that's... that's Sorry, that's Layers of Fear ending. It's under Layers of Fear 2? Sorry. Layers of Fear 2 endings. Let's see how many. Um. Yeah, sorry, because the first game had three endings. So. Which ending did we get? Alright, so there are three endings and layers of... So yeah, if you don't want to spoil the rest of the endings, stop here. We're about to go over them. Alright. There are three endings in Layers of Fear 2. Um, the endings are categorized as obedient, disobedient, and balanced. Um, Makes the, sense. So you kind of go back and forth between... Yeah, we, we got disobedient, probably. Yep. So there's what's known as the flame ending. The first ending we're going to look at is the flame ending. Um, essentially, you get this one by shooting the woman, taking the meat, shooting your sister... And then turning around and walking into the flames. Oh, I guess we avoided the flames then. I thought we turned into them. Hmm. You made it seem like we were walking into them. Yeah. The forever ending is shooting the man, giving up the meat, shooting the puppets, and then sprinting to the end of the hallway. Yeah, so I guess that was away from the fire. The formless ending... Um, you'll need to be more balanced. This means performing two and two. Two obedient and two 
uh, disobedient. So you can either shoot the man and take the meat, shoot the woman, take the meat. You know, you can mix it up. Yeah. And then run into the fire. So I don't know what ending we got. Oh, well, the trophies would tell us. Yep. Um, trophies. Let's look at them. Yeah, because it should have the ending we settled on. But it says like we have no direction in the fourth scene, so... We got the forever ending. So we got the disobedient ending. Yeah. We disobeyed the director at every turn. Oh, that's what I thought. Was like, he kept telling us not to run in the direction we were running, so... So, yeah. By doing the disobedient ending... By doing the disobedient ending, you are Lily. I don't know what the other two endings mean for you. Um, well, oh, here's one that says, oh, cool. Here is a summary of the story. Um, this is from, uh, this is from a website qu called Twinfinite. It's an article written by somebody named Aaron Greenbaum. So this is what Aaron said is is the story of the game that we looked at. So chapter zero, the prologue. Um, you're a Hollywood actor. It's falling apart. And then we see the head get ripped off and it says you almost had it. That's pretty simple. Yeah. Chapter one, we wake up by the director telling us to stay awake, and then we go through the ocean liner, the crew's having a bit of trouble with stowaways, we find mysterious items tied to a past, blah 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 blah. We find the personal effects of two kids, Lily and James, we figure out who they are, we know that the Lily and James are the stowaways, and then the disembodied voice, the director, tells us to shoot one of the mannequins. Uh, da, da, da. So chapter one is pretty straightforward. Chapter two, this doesn't seem to be a very spoiler, like, yeah, in detail. This is kind of just like, this is what happens. Yeah, it's given a very basic um, view of... We were correct in assuming the food rationing and the morale worsens and Lily and James start to starve to death. Um, I was right. The boiler room is a scene from Metropolis. I was right there. Um, then you choose to take the food from the dog or leave it for her and her puppies. We chose to leave it. And then... Okay, I'm just going to skip ahead kind of to... Yeah, see if they explain the endings. Anyway. The ending... Oh, interesting. Okay. Let's back up a bit. Let's back yeah, up a I bit. I just noticed that too. Um, so, up until this point, the guy, this, this article writer, has described to the protagonist as the protagonist. Um... We were right about the dad. He served in World War One, ran a movie theater out of his home, and lost money for ga from gambling, which is what the cards would symbolize. And he beats James. The um, we have to shoot Lily off the plank or shoot the mutinous pirate dolls. We do. We shot Lily. Um, however, Lily remains after the hallucination ends, and the truth dawns on the player. That the protagonist is grown-up James. That's what it seems like. So, from that point, he starts calling us James. Grown-up James. Runs from a skeletal cyclops. James can't do anything to help his dad, so he runs away. So the guy in the wheelchair was the dad. Yeah. Okay, that's what we thought. Okay, this now takes us to chapter four. 
After James finds a new film, he has the room. James, James, James. Okay, so all this is pretty much everything we saw in chapter four. Chapter five is when it gets weird. The ship is underwater. The director claims that these are reflections of our indecisiveness. So James tried to bring her back and something else returned? So this guy says this final chapter is almost solely up to interpretation and the director takes a slightly more active role. He forces James to confront and destroy a broken mannequin that cannot be fixed. More cryptically, the director implies that this isn't the first time he's dealt with James. Eventually, James encounters the broken mannequin one final time. Lily and James try to escape the sinking ship together, but debris cuts Lily off, and James watches helplessly as Lily takes an explosion to the face, killing her instantly. Is what it looks like, but you don't really see her get... It, see, it looks like she got blown off the ship. Yeah. So you don't see her die, necessarily. Okay, but here are the endings. So, ending one, flame. If James always obeyed the director, he opens a, a door and finds a small boy, a boy eating a small, lumpy clay figure that cropped up in chapter three. The boy and James share an impassioned speech about growing up and accepting one's past, and they receive a standing ovation. After the cut, ending cuts to James in his dressing room, as he examines his face and all the movie posters from his major roles. However, James looks as though he doesn't recognize himself, as if he is a hollow shell who can adopt any identity, but doesn't have one of his own. Flame implies that James is akin to a piece of clay or mannequin he is shaped by and does whatever he is told to do by the director, who was likely a real person and wanted to mold James to fit a specific role. Even though James has come to terms with his past, his only purpose in life is to be someone else. Okay, that ending makes a lot of sense. The forever ending. If James always disobeyed the director, he opens the door and discovers the same boy shooting the same clay figure. However, while the speech this time deals with suicide, James isn't speaking. Instead, everything takes place from the perspective of a woman. The boy eventually shoots himself in the head with a fake gun and they receive a standing ovation. As with Flame, this ending cuts to the dressing room as the woman examines her face and looks at the posters for past roles. Forever implies that this woman is a method actor and forges new identities to fit her roles, hence the dual identity symbolism. She places herself in her character's shoes and relives their fictitious histories in her head. The death of her mother, her abusive father, James's survival, and her death are all our false memories employed to get her into character, and the director was nothing more than her Jiminy Cricket. James and Lily never existed, and everything that happened on the ocean liner in Layers of Fear was a work of fiction. I don't know if I agree with that interpretation of the ending. We'll talk about that in a minute. Oh, I should back out. This is Final Fantasy music. <laughs> um, ending three, formless. If James only sometimes obeyed the director and sometimes disobeyed, he opens the door and enters an underground catacomb filled with wooden barrels and candles. A mysterious Roman strolls and chastises James, claiming this isn't the first time he's entered the room and that he's made the same mistakes over and over again. While the woman promises James can eventually receive what he wants, she claims he hasn't earned it yet and thrusts him back through time and space to chapter one. Unlike the other two endings, Formless implies that everything James witnessed was real even though form Formless is essentially the bad ending, since the woman from the beginning of Layers of Fear 2 only reappears in this en ending, Formless might also be the canon ending. As the f director, as for the director, Formless could imply that he is an actually supernatural agent, possibly working for the mysterious woman. As with most of Layers of Fear 2, it's open to interpretation. Um, so again, this was... The endings as explained by Aaron Greenbaum from Twinfinite, just to give him credit, since we read read his article word for word. Um, don't want to, you know. Yeah. <laughs> don't want to take credit for his work. Yeah. Um, I don't know if I agree with his interpretation of ending two, 
in that she was a method actor, like we were talking about earlier, it very much implies at many points that you could be Lily or James, or that there's this weird identity and you don't know who you are. So, I don't know if I agree that it's a method actress so much as, like, I don't know. To me, the game felt very much like the protagonist is dealing with the death of their sibling. Whether that's Lily or James is up for interpretation based off of, I think, the ending you get. Granted, I could see it being James in two of the three endings and Lily in the other. Hmm. I don't know. I just... I don't get how it would be her being a method actor and all of this is a work of fiction in her head. Yeah. Because that wouldn't necessarily make sense with the suicide death at the end. Instead, to me, I interpreted the second ending as Lily kind of having both care both of these personas within her, and her reaching that ending was her kind of reaching closure over the death of her brother. And that's why he, like, kills himself. Like, she recognizes who she is. But I don't get why the trunk then opens at the end. Yeah, that was the other thing. It was, it was just a really weird way to end it. Like, if she had walked off and that was it, the trunk hadn't opened, that would make a lot of sense. Yeah, but to have her cunts, like, look over her shoulder or in the mirror at the trunk and then turn to it, and all you have is just a scream... Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't, I wonder which ending, um, so Tyler said he didn't like the ending. I wonder which ending Tyler got. Um, but honestly, the ending out of that, out of that guy's description, the ending that makes the most sense to me is the formless one. The one where it's essentially a repeating purgatory over and over and over again. Because then you're James constantly stuck in this place that you failed in over and over. Like, that makes the most sense to me. Um, ending 2, the one we got where you turn out to be Lily, or... I, I swear it's Lily. I know that the, that guy was like, no, it's a method. I, it, I swear it's Lily. It has to be Lily. Right? Yeah, it just seems weird to get a method actor out of it just suddenly out of nowhere like I mean I could see it with but... the build the character stuff so she's like watching these film reels and like imagining and putting herself into it yeah but why would she but be then imagining... why would she embody James yeah. and not Lily I mean unless she's trying to go for the pain that James is having maybe but, but at that point why wouldn't she put herself in Lily's shoes, portraying that pain as opposed to James's shoes. Like, it... Yeah. In my head, ending two makes much more sense in the protagonist is, after the accident on the ship, is now stuck with the guilt over their lost sibling and is constantly trying to keep the other person alive through their performances. Yeah. So, like, they're trying to keep the other person alive. I would even take it away... Of being that the girl we see at the end is actually James and he assumes Lily's identity. Yeah, another option. Like, I would take that. That's That makes a lot more sense than everything else I just said. Like, it's yeah. still James, but he assumes Lily's identity because he wants her to live forever. But maybe come the e that ending, he realizes he can't have her live forever. Like, it won't work. Yeah. Look at the posters real quick. Before we bail out of this video, we're hitting the long one here. Much longer than we expected it to take. Because, like, see, that could be either of them. It could be either of them. Either of them. It could be... Either. That's a man and a woman. Yeah. Either of them. Either of them. Now, these are the ones that don't... Because King Lear is just a guy... That, sexually ambiguous, that would be the woman, but you hear the dialogue from the man, like Norman Bates. Yeah. But see, King Lear has many famous female parts, his daughters, so it could be any of them. Yeah. Like, at this point, they've kind of lost themselves as it is, the where... 
Yeah. I don't know. I I like his interpretation of ending one, which it was what? It's the idea that he's a piece of moldless clay. Yeah. He doesn't actually have a personality. He's hollow. I like that. I like the re- repeating third formless ending. It's the second ending that seems the most weirdly ambiguous. And my interpretation of that ending is one of two things. Either Lily survived and she feels guilt over losing James and so she's trying to embody and personify James in her acting and keep him alive. Or the woman we see is actually James assuming Lily's identity and performing as her to keep her alive. Yeah. Um, as for the opening trunk, all I could imagine is that that's where he keep he or she, that's where they keep the darkness, like in the memory from the house. So I think it would actually go better with that woman is actually James with Lily's identity because the trunk, which you keep clothes and stuff in, would be like where he keeps his secrets. It's where he keeps his darkness, his secrets and everything. So I think that would be a good interpretation of that but yeah no to me that makes either one of those makes more sense than it just being a complete method actor yeah you know and that would be an interesting take because the thing about layers of fear is a series so far at least in the first two games in the dlc is it very much plays with the the psychology of the character and how they cope with trauma and like just having a regular method actor just doesn't really fit that. No, it doesn't. Not unless they lose themselves in the process of that method acting. No. To have it be like all those characters don't actually exist and they're perfectly fine. Like, mm-hmm. just feels out of place from everything else. But I liked it. I hope you all liked it. Um, hopefully, you want to go in and see the rest of the endings yourself. I hope they release a DLC, because I like this series. I typically only play through the game once or twice, because it's a very story-driven game. But I will gla- I would gladly play the DLC. Like, yeah, I was like, regardless of how you might feel about the endings. Like, yeah, it's, but, a, it's a good story. Yeah, getting there definitely was a unique experience. Yes. So, developers of Layers of Fear 2, good job. I liked it. David liked it. If you're going to do DLC... I look forward to playing it. Yep. Make sure you throw more of those cre- those creepy paintings with all the skulls. Matt loved it. I yeah. <laughs> And hopefully, and this is the thing, like, um, Layers of Fear, the first one had three endings, but the DLC kind of showed us which ending was the canon ending, mm. and then there were two endings to that. So I'm hoping we get a DLC that kind of shows us what the canon ending is, kind of shows us what yeah, happens. And then elaborates from there. Exactly. But anyway, we'll see you all in the next video for the next adventure in horror or whatever we do. Yep. Bye. Bye.